All right, guys, gonna be taking a service call at a uh, local bank here. I just got the call a couple minutes ago. I was right down the road, and I'm like, I'll take it. So it's about 90 degrees here in Pittsburgh. Um, I'm gonna go in, meet the customer, and we'll see what's going on. Looks like two train packaged rooftop units when I pulled in, so. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, guys, so at this time, I walked in, met up with my customer, and uh, it's 79 degrees on on uh, the two thermostats and 72 or 74 degrees on another one. I just glanced. I just glanced up on the roof, and I see one unit is running, and there's another one not running. So most likely, the one that's not running is probably the one that we need. So uh, first, I verified thermostats are set for cooling. And now I'm gonna go up and I wanna check power at the unit, make sure there's not any fuses blown or anything. Um, definitely warm out, I'm gonna grab my sun hat too, so. All right, let's go. Okay guys, first things first, come out of my roof hatch. We have a rooftop unit here. Nothing, I don't hear anything. Todd out, should be dumping out condensate on the roof and we are not. Most likely our problem, those are not my gloves. Now, there is another rooftop unit. Jump down here. Okay, most likely perfectly fine. Okay, I will check filters as well. Ooh, that's nice and hot coming out. Cooking. I'm gonna check filters and belts out on that one. But as for now, I'm gonna just slide on up here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop off this main panel and I'm gonna check for power first, first thing. If we have no power, I gotta check the breaker out. I can see the problem already. Power is off. I wonder if somebody just came here and did the maintenance because that is not tripped. If it was tripped, it would be dead center. Okay, so as of now, treat it like it's live. Hey, I was here back then. Nice, nice. Yes, sir. God, I gotta look through my notes and see what exactly I did on this one. Okay, let me check out belts and filters just in case. If those are brand new, most likely somebody was here on maintenance and accidentally left it off. Let's hope it's something simple. I got another call to take. Okay guys, I made a few phone calls and um, yeah, I think somebody accidentally left the disconnect off. These filters are brand new. The belt looks good. Um, I don't know, other than uh, I see some wires that could be taped off here. I don't really see anything out of order, I mean, at this time. Uh, I just didn't want to flip a switch and run. I wanted to just call and verify that somebody didn't shut off the disconnect for a reason and leave it that way. If anything, they would have taped it or locked it out, and then they, they would have marked it and labeled it, but they didn't do that. So I called in just to verify, was anybody here? And it... Um, it does happen from time to time. We are all human. It's very easy to leave a disconnect off, especially if you're running around doing maintenance on like 15 different units um, and you have a busy day and you just lose track. So I'm gonna flip, I'm gonna put these panels back on, put a piece of tape on there and fire it up and let's hope it runs. And I wanna show you guys one thing downstairs that um, you'll see. Really shove that in there, don't they? Okay, now with these train units, there's going to be a time delay before they go ahead and engage. The circuit boards are going to talk back and forth to one another. It's going to verify phasing. Um, uh, if the phase is wrong or missing a phase, it, it should go into a fault on some of them. And uh, thermostat's calling for cooling, so let's give it roughly five, maybe eight minutes, and it should engage. Um, but... Uh, Hopefully that's all it was. 
Okay guys, this thing's been running for roughly 10, 15 minutes now. I see one contactor pulled in, the other one is not. I am not getting a call for second stage cooling. Two compressors, okay? One stage is running, another one's not. We got a lot of heat coming out of that condenser, so I'm liking that. But why the second stage is not engaging, I'd like to figure out. I'm going to go down to the thermostat and make sure that thing's programmed for second stage or if it's even uh, properly hooked up. So I'm going to go down and take a look. Don't just flip a switch and run. Take the extra couple minutes and take a look at systems just to be safe. I don't know how long this thing's been off, but you got to take a look at it. So, all right, I'm going to go down, open up the thermostat, verify that it is wired for second stage cooling. Here they are using Y2 terminal, which is blue. Okay. We're on the eighth, and today's the ninth. We're good there. 160. It's in there on programmable. That's fine. Seven system type. One heat, one cool. We are not one heat, one cool. We are going with. Hmm. They do not have. I'm gonna check for that. You know what, there is. Two heat, two cool multi-stage. I think there's only one heat. I'm gonna take a look up there. But for right now, I'm gonna set it as that. Natural gas, which is zero. Twenty compressor cycle. There's three. Now well, we'll just go with three. We'll leave it as is, and then we'll go. That one is three as is. Let me turn a page. Okay, I'm gonna go through the rest of these. Everybody, I don't want to bore you. Okay, I made sure the other connections are good. We're hooked up to Y two. Set it for auto. Cool set for that. Bump it down one for that. Oh, well, you know what? <clears throat> we'll leave it there. So right now it's 77 in here. We're set for 70. So let's go up on the roof. This should slowly um, jump up. Bam. Leave that fan on. Okay, guys. We are cooling. We got both stages up and running, both contactors pulled in. So we got two stages of cooling. Okay, now, so it was wired up here, but not down at the thermostat. Wired that up. Thermostat was only programmed for one stage of heat, one stage of cooling. Corrected that. Now, not sure why it was set up that way, if it was just forgotten about. Got uh, wasps going up underneath the roof hatch there. Notorious for up underneath curbs, so be very careful. Please be advised when opening up hatches. Now, um, so uh, I don't know. Maybe it was cooling just fine with one stage originally, but somebody left it off. I don't know if it was left off for maintenance or there was a repair done. I don't know. But end result, we're up and running. Customer will be happy. Temperature should be dropping. And uh, condensate should be condensating out onto the roof. So we're removing moisture. There was a few portable dehumidifiers down there. And I don't want to film where I'm at. That's why I, I, I'm limited on bringing my camera through. 
Um, so they're trying to dehumidify. Units up and running, this will help dehumidify dramatically. So, okay guys, always investigate, snoop around, look at programs. Don't, don't just flip a switch and run unless you really know the account. Um, I haven't been here obviously in years, so. Okay, thank you very much for watching HVAC Explained. If you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe. If you got any questions, I can try to answer them as best as I can. Um, sometimes people leave some good comments, tech tips in the uh, comments down below. So thank you. Have a good day.